Hey, it's me again. So uh, next section is circuits. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I combine these sections up above to include atomic structure and charge interactions. So again, go look at your uh, notes for those charge interactions. I assume you can go back. Hopefully you can go back. Anyways, so down here on circuits, a big strategy here is using this simulator. So it's a FET simulator. Um, it, if you don't know, go and learn it. Okay, so um, this first question, when the circuit, when the switch is closed, which circuit will have the least bright bulbs? It's probably not grammatically correct, but I put bulbs in parentheses S because circuit C has two bulbs, circuit A and B both have one. So which circuit is going to have the least bright bulbs? Or in other words, the dimmest bulbs, not as bright bulbs. Which one is going to have um, that? So if you copy and paste this link here, it looks something like this. You can go and build a circuit with uh, wires, and here's a bulb. You connect things at these circles. We did this in class. There's a switch. You can turn things. So when you close the switch and the circuit's built like it, shows over here which one is the dimmest that means not as bright circuit a circuit b or circuit c and the difference is circuit c has two bulbs circuit b has two batteries circuit a has one bulb and one battery okay um, next question which of the following statements best describes the electricity flowing in circuit b when the switch is closed so this circuit here how does it compare to these other two circuits? So circuit B has two batteries and one bulb. Circuit A has one battery, sorry, one battery, one bulb. And circuit C has two bulbs and one battery. Um, this gets to the relationship of voltage, current, and resistance. So two bulbs are going to have, uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Um, Actually, I think I can tell you here because we don't have resistance down here. So two bulbs have more resistance than one bulb, okay? So go back to your notes, look up voltage, resistance, and current. Let's go back and look and see what we got here. So th this is how I labeled things. Um, right here, s s something like this. See how it says current, voltage, and resistance? If you want to maybe go and look at those notes. And here's some more notes on current voltage and resistance. That's what I stands for. It stands for current. Okay, so go look those up. Um, let's go back and look at some more questions here. Which is, So question six, which of these circuits will have the brightest bulbs? So we got two bulbs, but they're in a different configuration than these two bulbs in circuit B. So which ones will be the brightest? You can go build that. Go build both these. See which one will be the brightest. And then circuit seven. Question number seven, uh, in which circuit are the bulbs in series and in which are they parallel? So you wanna go look this up. That is some, uh, that, that's a, a definition. So series means items are one after another and parallel means they're not one after another, but they're in parallel. Sorry, that's not um, descriptive enough for you, but go use your resources, go use your notes find out which, which circuit is in series, which is in parallel. Number eight, what is an advantage of an AC, or what is an advantage of AC current? I was gonna say AC circuit, but AC current. So AC stands for alternating current. Um, so there's two options. It can be transmitted over long distances or it, ha it is used by transistors, which are the basic building blocks of digital electronics. So one of those. Similarly, but different. What is an advantage of DC current? So DC stands for direct current. Again, same options. Um, go look at your notes, AC versus DC. Check it out. Okay, good luck. You got this. We believe in you.